My name is Aaron Hale, and I joined the military in 1999. I loved cooking in the military. I was cooking for a three-star admiral and his uh, top brass. It was a great experience. By about 2004, I wanted to have a more direct role in the effort. So I requested to become an EOD technician. EOD, or Explosive Ordnance Disposal, is the military's bomb squad, and I deployed to Afghanistan about eight months into this 12-month rotation i got to go home right about thanksgiving a two-week vacation you know flew back to afghanistan my team picked me up in our armored truck and we drove from the airfield and along the way the uh, patrol leader called back from the, the front of the convoy and said there's a roadside bomb up ahead that's been found so we pulled up our truck and we got to work. The robot did its thing and it separated the, 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 the pieces of this, this bomb so it wouldn't work. And then it was my job uh, as safely as possible to collect as much evidence as I could and then dispose of the rest by detonating it. I started making my way towards the, the site and there was a secondary device that hadn't yet been detected. That detonated and just punted me into the air. I landed on my knees and elbows and I got twisted around and the lights were out. And, and I, I thought at first that my helmet had just gotten pushed over my face. I went to fix my helmet and get back to work. And went like this, just to discover that the helmet was gone. And my life had been changed forever. I decided then and there that I wasn't going to feel sorry for myself and if I was going to be blind for the rest of my life, I was going to be the best darn blind guy I could be. So I got up, I started running, I ran marathon after marathon. I was learning how to live my best life and in 2015, I was having like the most epic summer ever. I'd gone hunting in Texas. I climbed three 14,000 foot peaks in Colorado in a single day. And then I also had a fantastic week-long first date with Michaela. And, and I, I start feeling very dizzy, uh, very fatigued. And I didn't know what was going on, but I woke up with this, like, it's like a soul crushing pain. And within moments I realized I needed to call 911. The cracks in my skull that were patched four years earlier had either reopened or maybe not completely patched and I'd contracted bacterial meningitis. It was stealing what was left of my hearing that the bomb blast hadn't taken. So I was gonna be totally blind and totally deaf. Uh, Michaela had nursed me back to health in the hospital and it, it did essentially it moved in. I could regain some of my hearing through the cochlear implants. Uh, however, it would take over six months before I would hear anything and almost a year until I could actually hold a conversation and actually understand another human voice. Thanksgiving was coming. And I was determined not to feel sorry for myself. We invited family from the all corners of the, the country. I started making cakes and pies and cookies and everything. I started making batch after batch of fudge. And Michaela noticed two things. One, I was smiling for the first time in about six months. And two, the fudge was piling up. I mean, there's so much fudge. So that's how Michaela and I started our own confection company. EOD Fudge, or Extraordinary Delights. We've certainly grown since then, and it's doing, doing very well. That silver lining type lesson where every challenge is an opportunity, and that life is always worth living. just like EOD now has a new meaning. Um, I love this couple so much. Extraordinary delights you are as human beings. You have a standing ovation, by the way. <laughs>